This video will show you how the non-drafting party can review and e-sign a settlement contract. Once you've logged into Comfile, click Settlements. After an opposing attorney has drafted a settlement contract and routed it to you for signature, it will appear in your active settlements. You can open the settlement contract by clicking on the case number or by clicking the arrow to the right of the settlement. You can now review the contract in its entirety. You can also add and view documents. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to upload and view documents, please see the video Comfile Fundamentals. After you have reviewed the contract, you may see something that needs to be changed. Contact the drafter of the contract and discuss these matters directly. Either side can click Changes Needed to send the contract back to the drafter for edits. After clicking Changes Needed, the non-drafter cannot make edits. Clicking Changes Needed deletes any signatures that were previously applied to the contract. This is because the IWCC needs to know that all parties have signed off on any changes. If there are no changes necessary, click Next. Now, you can add a comment for the arbitrator or commissioner if you would like. This comment will be visible to opposing counsel. To add your comment, click Add Comment, and you will be able to type or copy and paste in the box provided. On the last page, you can e-sign the contract by clicking the arrow to the right of your name and clicking e-sign. If you are the last person to sign, the Submit to IWCC for Approval button will activate. Note: If you are not the drafter of a settlement contract and you represent the petitioner, you will add the deductions as well as handle the petitioner's signature. To see step-by-step -step how to do this, please see the video, Settlements, Petitioner Attorney Actions.